If you're starting out in a band and you want to have any sort of success at all, let me give you some helpful tips for playing live. Rule number one, be on time. Unless your car is on fire, your drummer died, or you're the victim of a roadside civil asset forfeiture, there's absolutely no excuse for being late. Stupid and lazy just doesn't cut it. If you book a show, get there on time. Or better yet, get there early. Because when you're late for a gig, it fucks over everybody. The event staff, the crowd, and most importantly, the other bands you're playing with. Rule number two, don't be a dick to the other bands. Playing shows with other bands can encourage a friendly bit of rivalry, which is great. It keeps everyone sharp and makes for better performances. But keep in mind, it's not a competition and it's not the Olympics. The people you're playing with all have the same common interest, music. Be cool to the other bands and it will pay off. If you've broke a cable, lost your power supply for your pedal board, drummer forgot his hi-hat clutch, happened to me once, you can borrow from other bands and you can party with the other bands. Hell, I still talk to guys I played gigs with all the way back in 1992 and we still get together well when we can. Some of the coolest people I've ever met were in bands that I've gigged with. Rule number three, don't be abandon all ships. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you abandon all ships. <laughs> Every band I've talked to that's had the honor of playing with these guys says the exact same thing. Wow, what a bunch of dicks. These guys went out of their way to let everyone know who ever played with them just how awesome they were. Let's be clear, let's get this straight. Record deal or not, 10 million hits on YouTube or not, playing in a shitty techno metal band does not make you great. Not in the sense of Gandhi or Dr. Jonas Salk. You know, people who actually made the world a better place to live. A little fucking humility goes a very long way. Fortunately, these fuckheads did us all a favor and announced that they're breaking up. I just hope they're on any solo projects because that would be the real tragedy. Rule number four, set up as much as you can before you go on. Get your amps ready to go. Hook up what you can. Set your drums up off to the side of the stage so you can carry them on quickly. Get a friend to help you carry them on, but have them set up. And drummers, I know it's tempting. Your kit's sitting right there, but do not play your drums while the other band is on stage. It's just a dick move. Believe me, you're gonna get your chance to show everyone how awesome you are. That's why you're at a gig. Guitar players, tune your guitars before going on stage. Nothing says amateur hour like watching a band tune up. It's not exactly what I'd call an engaging performance. And a related story. A few years back, I went to check out my friend's band and they were playing an all ages show. Most of the other bands were probably playing their first or second gig and I wasn't expecting much. These sort of shows are the time for bands to be terrible. This is where they learn what playing live is all about. And I am totally cool with that. But I'm watching one band and they've got two guitar players. One guitar is tuned up about a quarter step from the other guy. And as you can imagine, it sounded pretty amazing. So between songs, I yell out to the band, tune your guitars. A guitar player walks into the mic. Uh, they are in tune. To each other? Oh. Folks, you gotta stop buying musical instruments for the kids with the low IQs. It's just better for all of us that way.